Hi, I'm Peter Sidwell, driving on the way home and I've called off to cook something. I've kept my hob in my boot and the car, I've got my chopping board, I've got my table and I've got a beautiful view. So I've grabbed a few ingredients and I'm going to cook up something nice and simple. Now yeah, I'm cooking it here by the lake, but you guys can make it any way you like. So I love rarebit and I love the fact that you can go all over Britain. In fact, you could probably go all over the world and use a different beer from wherever you like, basically. I've just grabbed a beer here, so I am just going to open this one up. And then all I'm going to do is pour the beer in. This is a preheated pan. I'm going to take half the beer. I'm probably going to drink the rest. I'm going to let my beer boil down to 10% of its original volume. So I've got about 250 mils in there. I want that reduced down to 25 mils. So that's like two or three tablespoons. So while that's going on, I'm going to chop all the rest of the ingredients. Now, I've cheated a little bit. I've got grated cheddar ready for me. So I'm going to pop that just straight into the bowl. It's a good local mature cheddar. Love it. Great flavor. Okay, put that to one side. Now I've got some spring onions. So we'll use plenty of the green. Now get rid of the first inch. We don't really need that. And then just using your knife, just chop through really fine. Okay. Till you get to the white. Okay, that'll do. Keep those for something else. So let's put those to one side. Okay, I've got myself a red onion. So we need to chop this really, really fine, okay? So, carefully chop. Take your time, use a good sharp knife, and then in horizontally, and then hold the whole onion together and just glide your knife through really slowly. Take your time. What you don't want are massive chunks of onion in here because this is about combining all three onions together. So I move those to one side, okay? So nice and fine. And then chop. So this will give an incredible sort of savoury flavour to this dish and it'll work really well with the strong cheddar and the strong beer. So put that to one side. Now, got some chives again, part of the onion family, and it plays its part. It's a nice delicate flavor. So add that with our spring onions and our red onions, and it is gonna work beautifully. This mix is a great one because you can just put all this together, make it at home, pop it in the fridge if you like, and then you've got it for those quick dishes that you need to make. You know, when you're in a hurry, you've forgotten, something like that. So, let's just put those to one side. I'm waiting for our beer. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take the spring onions and the red onions, and we are just gonna pop them all into the bowl. It's like a posh cheese savoury, this. Okay. Brill. Right, sour cream. Beautiful little addition. It gives it a really sort of richness, like a sauce almost. So once, once the cheese melts and am amalgamates with all the different onions we've got, this sour cream kind of binds it all together with the beer. You only need a spoonful, but it just makes that lovely difference. I'm just gonna wait for the beer to boil down and then I'm gonna cook the most incredible beer rare bit toasty you have ever seen. And I guarantee you will wanna make this wherever you are in the world. My beer has boiled right down now, so I'm just going to lift this off and pour it straight over the cheese mixture. Look, there's hardly any there, but what it's full of is intense flavour. Now, saucepan back on the heat, because we're going to cook our toasty in that. Give it a good wipe clean. 
and mix this together. Make sure the sour cream and the beer mix in with all the cheese because you want that marriage of flavours. You want that beautiful combination of mature cheese, red onions, spring onions, chives, sour cream and a beautiful beer. All together, toasted and melted in an incredible sourdough will make the most amazing toasty, I promise you. I've got some beautiful sourdough bread, I'm very lucky. I've got plenty of amazing bakeries around us and I know for a fact that this one is incredible. It's a Jewish rye bread and it's got caraway seeds in it which I think make absolutely beautiful toasties. Okay, so, right, I'll pick the best two. There we go. I'm getting quite excited now. This is gonna be good. Right, so, I've got my two slices and then just straight on there. And then just use the back of your spoon and spread it evenly. And it's quite important to spread it evenly because you want it all to melt together at the same time. You don't want big clumps of raw cheese and uh, against really good melted so yeah nice and even spread it okay actually i'm gonna make two because i know full well if i make one i'll think when i finish that i'll be like oh why didn't i eat the other one so spread it all over the bread there we go don't need that anymore i'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper just get the flavors going this is all about big flavours, okay? And then sandwich it down. Now, if you wanted, you could make this the night before. Keep the mix there all the time, done, okay? And then I'm just gonna get a little bit of oil and I'm gonna drizzle it on the bread instead of butter, okay? And this will help crisp it up so it goes nice and golden, all right? So, cook side down first. Put one in. There we go. You hear that? That's what we want to hear. First one in and then second one. So oil side down first. Oh, can you hear that? Everyone should hear that when they're making cheese on toast. I don't care what, what way you do it. You need to hear the sizzle. So that's it. We're just going to sit, toast them on each side. I'll put a bit of drizzle of oil on this side as well ready for when I flip them over. And you know what? There's nothing more to do than wait until it's beautiful, golden and toasty on the outside. And then you know what it's gonna be like on the inside. Let's have a little look. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. That looks good, so good. I'm gonna get a little bit of color on these on the outside first and then I'm gonna turn them down so that on the second toast on the other side it's just a nice gentle slow toast so i absolutely get it melted in the middle oh, i've got that amazing kind of toasted cheese flavor just wafting up i wish you had smell of vision i really do mm. oh, 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 oh would you look at that amazing oh. Oh. Beautiful. So I reckon these are done. So let's just pop that on there. That one on there. And then... There we go. <laughs> I have to say, that is one of the nicest toasties ever. Just the combination, the depth of flavour, beautiful.